Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Network for You. We welcome you all to our CCNP series. If you remember, in our previous class, we done basic lab for OSPF. So now we are going to discuss about the router ID. How in OSPF router ID is coming? Okay. Let me show you the syllabus paper before already we discussed the syllabus paper, but anyhow, let me try to open and show you that one. So you will have the idea what we are doing. Okay. So in the OSPF, we will let me open and show you if you see here, this one in this syllabus, what we told here, we are doing the OSPF. So we are going to discuss all thing about the OSPF. Then we are going to start the EIGRP. So now we will discuss how routers are selecting as a router ID in OSPF and how we can configure if we want to change how we can change and what uh, router is going to select by default. After that, we are going to discuss the routing table, whatever table is present in the OSPF like uh, routing table and the topology table that is database table and the neighbor table. Okay. And after that, slowly, slowly, we are going to go more detail about the multiple area and the point to point network different types and how we can do summarization here we have summarization also how we can do filtering also all these load balancing how we can do we are going to check okay so let's start here this is our lab what we done in our previous class so i open the same lab let me open the console also so to open the console i am doing this in the evng if you want to do in gns3 you can do in gns3 also or if you want to do in the what I can say in the packet tracer do, but some commands will not work in packet tracer. Anyhow, you can try. So this is for R1. I will open for R2 also. This is for R2. So I have both console ready and before going to the router ID, let me give you some theory about the router ID. Because many guys have the, some confusion. Even if you watch our CCNA 200-30 series, you will get the idea clearly. But anyhow, this is a basic, I will write here some points so you can uh, remember router ID. This is important. Whenever you are configuring any OSPF in any router, they will have the router ID, like a name of the router. In simple words, we can say this is like a name of the router. So we have router ID. Let me write here router ID. So how, what is router ID means? It is like IP address. It is a IP address. How router ID is selecting? Let me tell you. The highest IP address of the active physical interface of the router is known as router ID. In, in your own words, you can define what I am saying. Example, I have here router R1. Okay. I have this interface F0 by 0. I have another interface F0 by 1. I have another interface F0 by 2. Okay. I have one more interface as F0 by 3. Okay. This is a physical interface. If I have 4, 3 or 2 or 1 or 100, Whatever interface I have physical, what is the highest IP address of the physical interface that will automatically OSPF will take that one as a router ID. Example, I have 192.168.1.1 here. Okay. I have here 10.1.1.1. Here I have maybe here I have 200.1.1.1.1. Here I have example this one I have 172. something dot something dot something. So this all are physical interface. Physical means manually we are assigning and uh, active means this should be up. This should be up. What I am saying, how I am defining the router ID, the highest IP address of the active physical interface of the router. Highest IP address of the active physical interface. Active means it should be up, not down. Okay. So what we can say, a router ID router will select uh, the highest physical interface of the router interface, active interface. Okay. And if you have logical interface, if anyone configure logical interface, then highest IP address of the logical interface is selected as a router ID. Logical. What is logical means loopback. Logical nothing but loopback. If you create loopback in the router, loopback they will go give the preference to the loopback first they will check which one is the highest loopback example if you have two loopback here loopback zero loopback one okay you have two loopback loopback zero and loopback one in this loopback zero you have 
one dot one dot one dot one and loop back uh, one you have example you have uh, like 182 dot something 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 so this is the highest ip address so router will take in ospf loop back one ip address as a router ip address okay manually also we can give as a router ip address and we can give router id and we can type that one also manually we can do also no issue if you want to do manually we can do manually also if we did not give manually router first check the logical interface okay let me write again first if you want to give manually you can give manually when you are configuring the ospf manually you can give the do the configuration if you don't want to give then router will check the logical interface that is loopback with whatever the loopback you have if you have 10 loopback he will check which one is the highest ip address of the loopback he will take that one highest if you don't have the loopback in your network then he will check the highest physical active interface okay high physical physical active interface active interface okay if you want to check let's check in our previous lab and let's try to make some id okay so you understand right what i am saying router id router id how we can get the router id when we configure the ospf we can assign manually or router itself learn how it will learn they have two method they can if they have the loopback they will check highest loopback ip and they will assign as a router id if they don't have loopback in that router then he will take the highest physical interface active interface that is up as a loopback okay so let's verify let's check we have the lab already we created in our previous class let's try to take that one and do that one console i have here already if you remember before we already configure let's try i think that configuration is still valid we save that time so it should work but anyhow we will try now let's see it is working or any issue yeah it is starting okay yeah okay okay let's see this one also here in the router r1 and r2 it will take some time okay it will start no issue if you have ram issue you can use in the packet tracer no issue so now i've read show ip protocol okay show ip protocol we don't have any protocol or maybe neighborship urgency is not came anyhow let me write show run section uh, section ospf i don't have ospf maybe i did not save the configuration before let me check here show ip root i don't have even i think i don't have ip address show ip interface brief yeah i don't have anyhow i have the configuration here before i save that one so let me take let me copy this configuration from here to here okay let me take this configuration and paste this configuration i will copy i will go in the router r1 and i will paste this in the r1 okay so now i have the ospf let me go here and copy this one and paste this configuration in r2 before we learn how we can write this one okay this is a basic if you have any confusion no problem we are going to do some more lab for the ospf in that one i am going to teach you how i configure this one okay or if you are facing issue no problem i will explain you now also let me copy and paste this one first of all okay so what i will do i will go here in this one i will go to the router r2 i will paste this configuration okay what i done here see if i want to explain your configuration let me take the notepad and write in the notepad so you will easily understand what i done here let me paste this configuration this is for r2 okay so let me copy and paste for the r1 this already we done in our previous class if you watch the previous video you know already this one but anyhow if any new guy join he don't know anything he can also understand let me share you in the notepad okay see here what i done this is a ospf configuration by using the network method not the interface method later we are going to do by interface method also here we have the ip address 192.168.1.1 here okay and here i have the ip address 192.168.1.2 here okay and this is a loopback i will i am creating one loopback in this router okay so let me write here whatever loopback i want to create here so this is the loopback i have here okay imagine this is a LAN interface in the router r2 
okay and what we done we did not assign the router id here just we wrote router ospf and whatever network we need to advertise we done that one same thing here also i wrote router ospf1 network this network i want to advertise uh, also i want to advertise this one so i done this one this is a basic what we configure so we did not manually configure automatically router taken as a router id okay automatically router taken as a router id if we want to verify we can verify also see here they have the neighbor now if you want to check the router id we can check also show ip os show ip root ospf still just now let me write show ip root i am in the r2 right let me check in the r1 let me just i think it is taking long time here show ip root here i have the root see here i have the root o that is ospf and if i want to check the router id let me check the table show ip ospf neighbor okay i want to check the neighbor table if you see this is a neighbor table here i have the neighbor id so this is a router id this is a router id okay and if i go here or the other method what i can do i can write show ip o ospf database if you check here you will have the router id see here this is the r1 okay this is the r1 in the r1 if you see ospf router with the id 192.168.1.1 here we are checking in the router r1 if you see this one let me take my pen if you see this one this is the router r1 okay this is the router r1 we have only one ip address assigned here so router automatically taken this one as a router id 192.168.1.1 this one has taken as a router id automatically okay and if you see let me show you one more thing here this is a router id what we learn here in this in this we learn that we did not assign the router id router taken automatically and he taken as a highest ip address we have only one that's why it is taken only one but if we create one more ip with the highest higher than 192 then that will take as a router id okay and what else we told in the let's go to the router r2 and check in r2 what router id we have show ip uh, ospf database table okay database if you see here here router ospf is taken the router id as a 8.8.8 .8 .8. here we have 192 1.2 and here we have 8.8.8 .8 .8. why this 8.8.8 .8 .8 came here because what i told whenever we are not assigning manually the router id router will take first of all he will check the logical interface if we have logical interface then he will take the logical interface ip as a router id but if you don't have logical interface then it will go to physical interface if you have more than one logical interface then he will check which one is the biggest ip he will take that one okay so here we have only one IP that is 8.8.8. .8 .8. So router taken that IP as a router ID because this is a logical. So whenever they want to check, they want to take automatically, they will check if they have the logical interface that is a loopback. Then they will go for loopback. In loopback also they will check if you have more than one loopback, they will check which one is the biggest IP and he will take that one okay so here we clear that one and let's go here and assign manually example in r1 i want to assign manually so how i can assign manually if i want to uh, give the id manually let me go and show you i will go in the global configuration mode then i will write here router ospf router ospf1 i will go inside here and then router id and whatever i id i want to give i can give manually here router is not learning i am giving them manually how i can give example i want to give 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 press enter okay so when i type this one automatically it will not change we need to clear ip ospf process we need to use this one to refresh the ospf whenever we make any changes in the ospf we need to reload the router or use the command clear ip ospf then only this will be uh, changes will affect else it will not change okay so what i done i change the router id how i change i change it by the manually how i change manually we need to go inside the router ospf1 because we are running the process one that is router ospf1 so i go inside the router ospf1 then i wrote router id 
and then whatever id i want to give i can type that one okay after this also if i check here like let me show you show ip osp of database if you check after this also we have the old here old id only not new so if i want to get the new then i need to write clear ip osp of process then yes then press enter so it will refresh the ospf link will go down and it will come up don't do in the production network they will have some downtime take the maintenance time and do in the maintenance time okay and here also it will not change so to change here also it, it is better if you go here also in the second router and write clear ip ospf process okay so it will refresh here also and if you want to check we can write show ip ospf database so here we have the new one that is 1.1.1 and let me show you here so you will have more idea here i will write here show ip ospf database so when you write here before in the router r1 in the router r1 before we have 192.168.1.1 as a router id but now manually we configure that is 1.1.1 how we configure let me write here command we need to go in the router ospf after that you need to write router id then whatever id you want to give okay or if you want to check i will write here show run so you can check show run section ospf here see whatever ospf configuration i done here is the configuration so this one router dash id and then so let me paste this one here okay this configuration i done anyone having any question any doubts i hope it is clear right and let me go here and paste this one here inside the ospf i will go in this ospf after that enter and i will paste this one router id so now you know how we can configure the router id also and you know what is a router id and how router is selecting the router id manually we can give by using this command or if you don't want to give router will take automatically but he will check the logical interface if you have highest uh, if you have logical interface he will check if you have more than one logical interface then he will select the highest ip of the logical interface if you have uh, if you don't have logical interface then he will check the physical interface which is active and ha have the highest ip address if you have more than two active physical interface or more than one inter physical interface then he will check which one is having the highest ip address that's all this is important concept if you know this router id later we can play with this one okay thank you very much for seeing our video subscribe to our channel share with your friend in next video we are going to discuss about database and link uh, different types of link lsa we are going to check okay so whatever we have in our syllabus we are going to cover in next class we are going to discuss the table whatever table we have in the ospf okay thank you bye